Hello, good evening, good, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for joining Talk to Connect. I'm happy to be having here. My name is Fatma. I'm the host of uh, Talk to Connect, and it's always a pleasure to be here and sharing this uh, podcast with everyone who's joining us. The purpose for this uh, podcast is to just empower and inspire someone to just um, understand that in life, whatever we do with this journey, whatever place you are, whether you're starting your journey, whether you are uh, feeling you are um, successful or you're stuck, it's a process to reach where you want to go. And every speaker who has been on this platform joined us and shared their process, the process of becoming, the process of learning, the process of getting uh, something that you want out of your life. So today we have a very um, powerful lady with us. Uh, Jennifer is from Zimbabwe and she is in the UK, UK at the moment. Uh, she's a lady who has a lot of achievements where she's gonna share with us her achievements and whatever she's doing. And her journey inspired me and I saw her in a talk called Unscripted. And I was impressed with her journey and the story that she was sharing. And I invited her to be with us here today so that we can um, learn from her, her journey and, let, and, and, and get some insights through her, her story because she has such a powerful journey and she's doing amazing, amazing things to uh, help other people find their, their way and their, and their purpose in life. So Jennifer, I wanna welcome you and I wanna thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much for welcoming me and uh, for having me on the show. It's, it's, it's really uh, something I, I've been looking forward to. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Jennifer, I know you have achieved a lot of things and uh, you're doing a lot to empower other people to change, but I believe for every successful journey, uh, for every successful story, there's a powerful uh, story behind it and there's a process that takes us there. So I would like you to share with us that journey, the journey that brought you from Zimbabwe to the UK, to being empowering other people to find their own way in the UK and starting their lives. Um, I've, I've got a very uh, interesting uh, uh, journey. My, my life has never been a, a straightforward life. It's, it's always been a, a life uh, filled with uh, challenges. It's quite uh, I interesting now because most people see me for my achievements. They, they, they don't seem to think about the journey that's got, uh, got, got, got me to where I am. I am a mother foremost before a, 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 anything else. I have four beautiful children. I am a mother who has gone on to raise 23 other children here in the UK in the foster care system. And uh, there's a reason why I did uh, what I did uh, because raising four of my own children on its own was a challenge, but to go on and raise 23 other children is something else. I think rightfully so you're saying uh, there's always a story behind every success. Why I decided to do that is I had a very difficult childhood in Zimbabwe. I grew up in a very small African village in Zimbabwe. Some of uh, the listeners might know um, part of my journey. I grew up right in the middle of the war, so my childhood was filled with a lot of trauma. And I always made a vow to myself that whenever I'm, I, I make it in life, I'll never see a child suffer. So which is why I decided to go into fostering children from abused backgrounds. This is the work that I do mostly here in the UK. And this is the work that has seen me being honored by Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth for services to children. I am a member of the most excellent uh, of the British Empire because of the work that I do here in the UK. So that's part of my journey. We might be here all day if I go <laughs> into all, the <laughs> all, 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 all my life challenges. But in Africa, what I sort of, uh, do at the moment is because I know the struggle. I've been there, I grew up there, I know the challenges. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm doing empowerment uh, events for women in Africa. Because I know sometimes when, you, when things are difficult, you, you don't seem to think there is a, a way forward. You just see the, the, the problem. You, you don't think about, you know, what, what, what could it be? Could it be the end of, of the journey? Could it be lessons that you are, you are meant to, 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 to learn? So I do a lot of empowerment uh, programs in Africa and I also empower young ladies. 
So that's like in a nutshell of what I do. I'm a writer, I'm a speaker, I speak internationally. So I, 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 I work with people right across the, um, the board and right across the world. Okay, thank you so much. That's um, an amazing thing, and to be a foster care for 23 kids, that's, that's, that's really powerful. And I think it takes a lot of courage for someone to do that. So, uh, Jennifer, I want to ask you, because you're saying you're empowering women. And I think when, when, I, when we talk about women, and especially when we talk about women in Africa, um, I can say that there's a lot of potential in women in Africa because you can see most of them are striving to, 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 to become like breadwinners and, and they are the ones who are taking care of families. So, but most of them also don't know how to tap to their potential. And they are, they are, they are, they are locked down with the community or society beliefs or uh, the fact that there's no potential. But I, as you said, there's potential wherever you are in the world. So what can you advise a woman in Africa who is, has potential, but she's locked down with the beliefs that she cannot make it? because because of where you were born because as you're in the uk and i think this is that when i bring people from different parts of the world my intention is to show people that it doesn't matter where you are because there's a woman in the uk who's suffering as much as you're doing but this the choices that you're doing that makes you stand out and make a difference it's what you decided to find a way to help yourself so that you reach in the UK and started uh, working with kids. So there's a lot of women in Africa who have potential, but they're being locked down with the beliefs or the cultural things. Or, so how can you advise a woman who has potential, but doesn't know how to start her life or feels like she's locked by all this uh, uh, limiting beliefs in life? I think what, what I'll say to that is, for starters, we, we all need to understand there's greatness in all of us. It doesn't matter where you are. There is greatness in all of us. So if you understand that there is power within you, no matter how difficult your circumstances might be at, at, at that particular time, always remember that there is power within yourself. I mean, going back to the work that I'm doing here in the United Kingdom, I linked it back to my childhood for, for, a, for, for, for a reason. Because somebody might say she had a difficult childhood, but to me, I'm saying I had a, a childhood that taught me something. So if you look at your circumstance, see your journey of pain, see your journey of struggling, and look deep inside uh, the, the journey. There's always uh, some golden stuff to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So I would say to any lady who is somewhere struggling, it, I, I mean, I, I would hate, hate to say Africa because I know women in Africa are very innovative. Yes. They are very, very innovative. I mean, I work with very, very inspiring women in, in, in Africa who do marvelous things with very limited resources. Mm -hmm. So I think those are my sort of uh, uh, women because it's, it, they, don't, they don't look at uh, what the environment has to offer. They look at what they have to offer within themselves. It doesn't have to be a, like a, a degree in, I, I don't have a degree in childcare, but I've gone on to raise 23, 23 children. So mm -hmm. I've used and tapped into what I've got within me, what has nature given me that I can use to empower somebody else. I know I have a very, very long and kind hearted uh, heart. I, 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 can, I can go through quite a lot. I've built so much uh, resilience in my life, mm -hmm. which is a skill on its own. So mm -hmm. if you are going through a, a difficult time, that resilience is power. There is magic there. Mm -hmm. So use that power to create. Don't, don't see it as a waste of, 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 of say, a, a life. Of, or, it's, it's not a waste of anything. Go through the uh, challenges, of course, but take that and use it to your advantage, flip the pain, uh, the coin over. So it doesn't matter what you, you, you feel you can do, be it making bees, be it doing hair, be it caring for children. I mean, I'm, I'm a special needs teacher by qualification, but it didn't fill me up. Mm -hmm. What fills me up is looking after children. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we go on this wild chase of uh, things that are not meant for us. You know yourself, you know your character, 
you know what works for you. You know what doesn't work for, for, for you. Give me a bunch of children, I'm the happiest ever because that's me. So I would say really tap into your own gift because you've got your own gift. That is really powerful. And thank you for sharing that. I think one of the most thing that people lack is to understand what is your gift? What are you blessed? What is your purpose and what's your gift in this world? And the moment you get to know that, you are unstoppable because you don't do things because you are expected, you're doing what you feel is right for you. And that's really powerful. So Jennifer, you, used the, you said the word resilience. And I, I, I love when people talk about resilience. And I think if there's one thing that really stands out or make you achieve what you want is when you, you understand what resilience means. For me, a lot of people will say resilience is having, um, uh, it's being, it's being, it's being uh, consistent. For me, resilience means tapping to your potential and doing whatever you want with the resources that you have, as you said. But then there's a lot, as you said, resilience is a process. It's something that you build. It's 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 a, it's like it's 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 like um, a formula that you have and you can create it while you're growing. So how do you make? Because when you talk about these things, and I know how people and you like people when you're having conversation with people, they'll go saying oh, it's easy for Jennifer to say, do you you have resilience because you know she's uh, she's made it, she was lucky. But somehow I don't believe in luck because I know you can't create your own luck. So how do you build, what helped you build your resilience? Because I know it's not easy, especially when you come from uh, a place where, where, we are, where, where, we, where, where you are you, you were taught all your life to settle for anything so that life can become easy. So we, we are taught actually to settle, just settle and do what you can so that you can survive. We survive, we don't leave. So how do you build this resilience? What are the processes that you can say, oh, this is what I did and it helped me to, to build my resilience, to build myself as a woman and I started uh, really following my gifts. I think that's, that's quite an interesting one because I mean, like you say, a lot of people see uh, you for, the, for, for where you are in life. They see you for the, for, for the achievements. At the moment, people see me for, you know, for my accolades, the books I write, Mm -hmm. they, they don't stop to think what's driven her to get to where she is. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I really like to talk about resilience because it, it, is, it is very fundamental in building a, a, a person's journey. Mm -hmm. Without it, that's why people give up. If, if you don't get tried and tested over and over, any adversity will just throw you off because you are not tried and tested. Like I started my journey from my childhood, I started building my, res my resilience right from there. I've gone through quite a lot in life, a, a lot. I mean, I have a book online called Sailing Through the Storms of Life. That chronicles my life's journey up to the day I was stood right in front of uh, Prince Charles in Buckingham Palace. That took some, some, some doing, that took a journey. So yes, I mean, you have to stick uh, through the, the, the hard times. When, when things are tough, do not try and uh, make, make, you know, stick, stick it out. There's a reason why you're there. Stick it out and not only stick it out, dig deeper and find the message in that particular situation. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations because of poor planning. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we find ourselves in situ situations because of poor choices. Sometimes life just deals us very bad uh, cards. It's, it's, sometimes it just happens, mm -hmm. but it happens to all of us. It happens to the best of us. And it, it is a process that one can cheat out of. If you cheat out of the process, then you're cheating yourself out of the necessary growth. There is no one who grows when things are well. Mm -hmm. Show me one person who's grown when things are well. I will say no because we only stop to reflect and dig deep when we're down and out. Those very difficult moments when you hit the brick walls, those are very, very, very essential in your growth. So embrace them, embrace the journey, embrace the pain and also learn to say, you know what? When you get out of it, when you're on the other side of it, what have I learned that can help another woman so they can take a different maybe root or a young girl looking at me, how can I help them to say, you know what, 
try and not do this because this is what happens. So, which is why I, I talk a lot on uh, coming out of adversity. Most of my talks, I talk on uh, rising out of adversity, the lessons that adversity teaches us. So very interesting is resilience, I think is, is it, it, it's the best thing that can, I mean, pain sometimes is the best thing that can ha happen to us because it helps us to build that muscle. We become stronger. So when next time we will face the challenges, we're ready. Thank you so much. And that's really powerful. I think what we learn from our pain is you do not have to become a victim of what is happening to your life. Because when you become a victim, you do not learn and see the, 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 the good of what is happening to your life. So everything that's happening in your life, as Jennifer said, is a learning. Get the learning and don't be a victim and start doing something about what you've learned in your life. So Jennifer, I know when we talk, and, and this is like, I, I like talking a, a lot about um, home because uh, coming from Africa and coming to another country, there's a lot that I've learned. So when we, when we are home, and there's this hope of creating change. And we all don't see the opportunities that we have, as we're saying. And we have this belief of, let me go to another place, the UK. You know, Jennifer made it in the UK. And I can see Fatma, she's maybe in Dubai and someone else is there. And the idea of me going out of, or wherever I'm coming from, uh, is going to make life easier because it's difficult back home. But then when you come, and, and I'm talking about experience because it took me 12 years to realize there's something that I'm not doing right. That's why I'm not growing. I'm not back in Kenya and I'm, I'm in Dubai, but I'm still stuck, struggling, not even understanding what I want in my life. And that was for me was, was, was really um, a challenge because I used to go back home, as you said, there's women who have little, but they're doing amazing things. And I never used to understand why. So my question is um, for the people who are believing that, living where you are, it's a better choice. It's better to go to the UK or, or, or the US and I'm gonna make my, my life better. What can you advise someone so that they can understand that changing a life does not mean you have to be in the US or in the UK or wherever you are, but it's the choices. And, as, and as, as you said, you have these amazing women who are very powerful and they're using this, the, the little resources that they have. So what's, what's, what, is, what are these women actually, you know, like how is their mindset that is helping them to just produce and become successful wherever they are with the little that they have? I think you've just nailed it by just, by, by just saying mindset. Yeah. It's, it's not about location. I can move right across the world and take a mindset that's not helping me to achieve anything. I'll still be hitting the brick wall. So it's honestly really about uh, yourself, your self-beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? What, what's stopping you? Why are you stuck? What, what do you need to move to the next level? You don't need another country to move to the next level. You'd, I mean, I'm not by any means discouraging people from trying you know, at different locations. But if you're going to do that, realize that it's what is already within you that's going to make or break your move. Mm -hmm. You can be in the most uh, prosperous of, the, of, of all countries, but if you don't have the right tools within yourself to be able to build yourself, you can finish the whole world hopping from country to country. To country. Really, what I'm saying right now is what tools do you have within yourself to be able to pick yourself up, to be able to face whatever challenges, to be able to do what you desire in life? I'll go back to what I do. I didn't need much. I just needed my own life story. I've tapped into my own struggles. I've used my struggles for my success. Mm -hmm. So I, I honestly moving, if I, if I knew what I know now, I would not have moved. Because what people don't realize is settling in a country away from home is not easy. Mm. It is very difficult because you are suddenly cut off from all your support network. It's almost like you've lost your limb. Mm -hmm. A lot of people actually break mentally and emotionally because it's, it's not tough. It's honestly not. It's, I mean, it's tough. It's, it's not easy. So 
really think about what you've got within yourself more than where do I need to be. By all means, if you feel you need to move somewhere else, be careful of your intentions. Be careful of what you are taking with you. Because what you are taking with you, if it's baggage, you're just moving baggage across the other country. Mm -hmm. And your same structures are still going to follow you. So really change your mindset. It changes everything. See the gold around you. I'll use my mother as an example. My mother raised eight of us in a village. She's raised the most successful kids, not because she had money. There's doctors in my family. There's architects in my family. There's accountants in my family, all from this very small village. She, 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 she worked very hard in the field. She, she made us work very hard. She didn't make us believe manna will come from heaven. So if, if we are raising our kids as well, how are we raising them up? Are we spoon feeding them and giving them everything? And then at the end of it, chuck them out in the wild world to be on their own. How are they going to survive? Because you've been living for them all along. So honestly, it's all, it's all how you bring up your children. It's what you've got within yourself that will see you through the campaign. Moving, I'll say, think it through. Be very careful. It's not easy. Thank you so much. And I think that's, that's very powerful. I don't think people don't think of uh, the, the purpose. What is my purpose? What's my reason for me going? And what is my intention? So I want to talk more about intention because I think this is the one thing that people uh, don't uh, pay attention to, your intention. So can you explain a little bit about intention? Because when you talk about intention, people uh, don't understand that your intention is, is actually your purpose. What do you really want out of your life? And what do you want to see out there? So how does you having a proper intention and how does someone get to get to that point and I'm, and of, of understanding the intention to get to understand what is really my purpose? I think for most of us who start talking to people or who start um, uh, as going through transformation, it's one thing that comes to us is having that clarity of who am I and what do I want? And it all comes back to what is my intention of being in this world? So if you'll talk about a little bit more about intention, how do you create that proper intention so that you have a clarity of where you want to go? I think that that's quite a, a, an interesting one again, because you know, in the, in, in the current atmosphere in this world that we live in, we, we, you, you know, with this social media, when you look on, you look at somebody, you, you start to look at their lifestyle, people are flashing, you know, all the wonderful material things. Yes. And that's, that's, I know it's fine, people have worked hard to get what, what they've got, but the message that that's, uh, these uh, postings send to young people is life is easy. I can get stuff, I can just, you know, I can make it happen. There's no magic. <laughs> You, 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 you have to have a formula. <laughs> you have to have a formula. And you, there's, you can't, we can't all be, you, you know, it's, 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 it's nice and okay to admire somebody, but mm -hmm. don't want to be them because you don't know their journey. Yes. You don't know how they've moved from A to, to Z. Mm -hmm. so the moment you start to want to copy somebody else's lifestyle, then you're a copycat. You, you are not being authentic. And as a result, your journey won't be a, a beautiful journey. There's nothing as nice as being authentic, being you, knowing where you started, where you want to be, how do you want to get to where you want to be without copying somebody else's methods. Admire, learn, yes, but find your own you know, organic journey. Let it happen organically. Look into your own circumstances. What are my circumstances? What have I got within me that I can use to propel myself to the next level? Some is academic, some is just a gifts, natural gifts, but for some like myself is pain. Pain propelled me to greatness. So, you know, there's no one set formula on, on, on how to get from one level to the next, but we, we, we all have different journeys. What's your journey? 
what, what can you take out of your journey? What can you give the world from your journey? Because your journey has, has a lot in it. You've, you, 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 if you look back, there is somebody maybe who's still in that circumstance that you've walked past. How can I hold their hand and get them across? Because I know where they are is difficult. I know how I've moved from there to where I am. So you've built those skills, you've got those tools with yourself. It's, it's, it's an internal journey. It's, it's, it's all to do with personal growth within your own self, not from uh, you know wanting to be somebody else. That's true. That is very, very true. I think um, what you said is really powerful. What you said about the, 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 the social media now and people having this need of having instant gratification. It seems like everything is just gonna happen because someone said on the internet. And as, as Jennifer, when we listen to her, everything is a process. Everything you do in life is a process and it's a journey that you have to work with. It's a journey of challenge, it's a journey of success, it's a journey of everything combined so that you can become who you want to become. And I like the fact that when Jennifer is, is explaining, she's she's telling us that to be authentic, and I think that's something that a lot of people are lacking, to just be authentic of who you are. We all have a story, and your story has a lot of learnings in it. And the moment we sit and start finding the learnings, then we start finding our true selves, and that's when you find your identity. Learning, get insights from people, but find your identity. What are your values, what are your beliefs, what are you standing for, what is your purpose, and what is your passion, combining all these things and you start finding the, 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 the clarity and creating the intention of what you want to give to the world. So um, I'm, 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 we're talking about social media and I've seen a lot of um, young girls who wants to uh, use their social media as a way of, um, of, uh, of, of helping or, or creating change or making a lot of difference in, 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 this, in, this, in, this, in this society. But also I've seen that social media is one, one part of, I can say social media for me has been part of my growth because I chose to learn from people like Les Brown and Lisa Nicholson and listening to other people. So it was a different kind. But what advice can you give a young girl who believes that uh, social media is a platform to give her fame. Social media is a platform to make her become, you know, that instant gratification. How? What advice can you give? Because I think a lot of girls now are are are, are lost into trying to create, as you said, the instant gratification, and not go walking through that 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 process of finding finding and and learning and 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 uh, building themselves as. We want to say women who can, because I believe as a, as women who can represent themselves in a in a in a in a in a, in a higher purpose. I think I mean social media is a very powerful uh, platform, very powerful. It it, it like you're saying, it, 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 you, you, there's so much you can uh, gain from it. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of advantages mm -hmm. that you know are, 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 are in abundance on these platforms. But it's your intentions when you go into these platforms. What are you going in there for? I, I, I always say to young girls, easy come, easy go. Mm -hmm. Because no one wakes up a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> True. So if, if you go in there with this uh, false hope that you wake up and you have made it overnight, then I'll say you're going in there for the wrong reasons. I know there are people who have done well being influencers and you know all sorts of things are happening online. If it resonates with who you are, it will work because that's your gift. But if you're going in there to copy somebody else, it's, you're gonna be frustrated because that's not you. So I, I would say whatever you do, let it resonate with your soul. Let it be who you really are. So when you put your bed, your head at, 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 at night to sleep, you feel full. You don't feel like you know you've you've wasted a day or you, you your life is not really you're not you're not achieving. Because if you're copying somebody else, 
you never you never have peace. But if you're doing what's authentically you, you will feel full because you're being you. I think the other thing that will sort of uh, seem to shy away of, of, from is connecting with our stories of struggle. We only want to connect with our stories of success, which unfortunately, you know, social media sometimes is, it, it shows a lot of that. Mm -hmm. it, it shows a lot of the successful side of the person, but it doesn't show you how this person has got to be where they are, which can be very misleading to, 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 to young minds because they think, oh, okay, it's easy. Someone's done it, I, I, can, I can do it overnight. No, it, mm -hmm. it, 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 it won't work like that. So yes, know yourself, absolutely know yourself and whatever you're doing, whatever you engage in, if it resonates with who you are, it will make you feel happy, it will fill you up. You might not be a millionaire, but there's nothing as powerful as being happy within your own soul. There's, there's, there's no equivalent in, in terms of, 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 of currency mm -hmm. to that. That is really true. I, I love what you said. You need to find yourself, and I, it's it's really um, true because people don't want to 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 look at the at, at the journey. I feel everybody is showing someone what what their success is and what they've done, but it's a journey. Again, as Jennifer keeps on reminding us, success, having fulfilled life, abundance that you're looking, whatever you're looking in your life, it is a process, and that process you have to put yourself in that journey to understand where is my journey taking me. I cannot be walking on someone else's uh, story. You have your own story to tell. You have your own, own, own journey to tell. And that's why we're sharing uh, th th uh, this, this platform. Tell your story the way it is so that you get the learnings and become the person that you wanna become. Thank you for sharing that, Jennifer. So you talked about success. And I think a lot of people define success in so many ways, but I just want you to uh, define success because everybody has a different of way of defining success and and I think if there's one thing that everybody's out there looking for it's success so what does success mean to you I, I think to me success is how much impact am I making how many lives am I able to change my motto has always been one is a million if I change one life I know it that person will go on to change many more lives. Mm -hmm. So to, to me, success is not linked to my bank uh, balance. Mm -hmm. It's linked to the impact that I am having in my family, immediate community, the world is at, 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 at wide. Because at the moment, the world is very small. I mean, I've just finished uh, writing this anthology that's online with women I've never met. That state of women all over the world with a common purpose, embracing imperfections. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the book. I'm not, I, you know, I'm bringing that up because it's impact. Yes. My story has been spread all over the world. Mm. And I, I, I'm proud of my journey. I'm proud of my struggle. And I, I own it. So we, we, we have this term stand on your story, not in your story. Mm -hmm. Because if you're standing in your story, you're stuck. Yes. Stand on it and on it. So to me, impact, impact, how many lives, how many, how, how many people will look back and say, wow, that lady impacted me. How many kids will stay, say, oh, that lady raised me. How many people across the world will say, I've worked with that lady. She's had an impact in my life. It's doable, it's easy. With this very social media, again, is what we use it for. So to me, it's impact. Thank you so much. That's really powerful. And I love I love the, what you said. Stand, uh, don't be in your story because when you're in your story, you're stuck. That's really powerful because when you are in your story, you become a victim of everything that has happened. Absolutely. So don't be a victim of your story. Thank you for sharing that. And I think a lot of people don't understand the power of their story. 
They don't understand what your story can make. So as Jennifer said, her story came from pain and pain brought her to where she is. So not everybody, you have your story, tell it the way it is so that you can, um, you can identify yourself. Thank you for sharing. That is really powerful, Jennifer. Thank you so much. So you said you're empowering women and, um, and, 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 and helping women to come together. So I want you to, um, I want to understand because somehow a lot of women are, you're talking about uh, imperfection and becoming perfect. I think a lot of people and not only women are trying to change their lives. But there's one thing, and me, I was a victim of that, of trying to be perfect. I wanna do the perfect thing so that it looks right. I want to try the perfect way so that I can reach, you know, I can start talking to people so that I can connect to people. And then I realized when I'm, the more I'm waiting to be perfect, the more I'm stuck in the same place. So how did you, or how can you advise someone to break this? I think it's a syndrome of perfection where you want things to be right so that you can start or you can begin to change your life. I think it goes all the way back again to, to be wanting to be the next person. Uh, to, to me, what works is I am enough. Oh. I am enough with all my faults. I am enough with all my imperfections. I am happy to be who I am. I am happy of the cards that life dealt me and I've, I'm happy to use them and stand on them for my next chapters. So, because these things don't stop happening, by the way. Challenges don't stop happening, but mm -hmm. they will propel you to the next chapter in your life. So yeah. I'll say I am enough. That, 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 that sums it up for me. I don't look over my shoulder in order to make a decision because I know I'm enough. That is, wow, that's really powerful. I don't think there's a lot of people know uh, how or, or a lot of people understand the power of just telling yourself you're enough i think most of us want to get affirmation from outside so that we can feel enough i want people to tell me how good i am i want people to uh, to, uh, to to uh, to 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 cheer up for me so that i understand i am powerful but when you know that you're enough no matter what you do it might not be as good as you want but it's enough to make you start take that first step and try to do something different that is the power of you finding what you want in life and that's very powerful thank you jennifer so jennifer i have um i come because for me i i i grew up and uh, in a community or in in africa i think most of us are are grew up understanding to survive and i think that's what my drive came from survive Fatma settle for anything that is there as long as you can make uh you can make a living for tomorrow we don't have uh, I never got those that that encouragement of having a vision a vision of who I would be 10 years or five years from where I was so for me it was surviving for tomorrow what can I do for next week or for the next two days or what can I do that can make me survive for the next six months so I never had that uh opportunity chance of, and I think a lot of people that I grew up, up in Africa are just got that vision of surviving, settle for what can make you survive. So how powerful would you say having a vision of what you want in your life and understanding that I have today is I'm working for today to make my vision for the next five years powerful, impacted your life and changed you to be the woman you are right now? I think if I remember the little girl that I was running to school barefooted, you know, miles and miles away from home, <laughs> I, I, I was a dreamer. Yes. I dreamt. And I believe a girl with a dream becomes a woman with a vision. Don't stop dreaming. Young girls, you can, no matter where you are, I dreamt it all and I made it happen. I would repeat that a girl with dreams becomes a woman with a, with, with a vision. So, yes. there, there is more to, to, to you than your current circumstance. As long as you keep remembering that there is more, there's a bigger part of you yet to come, don't drop yourself. Don't, don't put yourself in that box of the moment because you are bigger than the moment. So keep dreaming. 
that's that's what I was saying. That is that is really powerful. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is amazing, and I hope anyone who's listening can just relate to that. Just keep on dreaming because that's the one thing that takes you to the next level. And I think most of us lack that. I think when we talk about dreaming, and I know when I was growing up, it was when you have this imagination, it's like you 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 people try to make you not to imagine it because it feels it's impossible. But the only thing that makes you make the impossible possible is when you follow that dream. When you connect with yourself and find the real your vision and try to live that dream. As Jennifer said, you run without shoes, but you have this this imagination that I'm gonna fly. I think I used to love to fly a lot and just get in the plane and go. And uh, and I flew and I came out. And I think that vision of me just coming out and it was with me. So never let your dream die because people don't see it. I think your vision is meant only for you, nobody else. Absolutely. So um, I, uh, um, um, I I just wonder, Yanni, like if, if there's, 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 how do I put this question? So I, 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 I want to talk about women collaboration because I think the one powerful thing, and we talk about empowerment so much, but for me, I think one thing that empowers people, and I've learned with my journey, like whenever I collaborate with powerful women, I become more, uh, more inspired, more, more propelled to do something that I've never done. And a lot of women kind of find it difficult to, um, or it's a challenge kind of, depending with where you're coming from, to just find that collaboration. And empowerment is not only about um, maybe giving money or it's not about only giving charity. Empowerment comes from different things. And one thing that I've learned for me that really empowered me to become uh, have this courage is that I had women who collaborated in a lot of things and they pushed me to actually go to to try and reach my limits and every time I went to this um, maybe it's a mastermind for women talking or maybe they were sharing something I could always find myself want to become more so what advice would you give to women about collaboration and working together so that they can empower each other to go to the next level I mean, I, I, I would always say there's strength in numbers. There, there, there's no, there's no science, yes. uh, you know, in, in that. In that, mm. being an island is a very difficult place. So I would say yes, reach out, collaborate, make those connections. Going back again, this social media has make, made it so possible. Going yes. back again to the book I wrote to the women I've never met. That's collaboration. Women with the same purpose as yourself. There's plenty out there. Reach out. I mean, at the moment, I'm working with the, an academy that's in Singapore. Mm -hmm. That uh, is a very powerful platform for girls, particularly and women in Africa. It's, it's a platform that uh, encourages every girl and woman to dream of self-employment. Mm -hmm. If anyone is out there in Africa and wants to be part of this very powerful platform, reach out, collaboration, collaboration. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of things happening right, right now in the world, but they won't come to your plate without you reaching out. Yes. You've got to have the confidence to reach out. Mm -hmm. And to remember, all those women have been in very dark places themselves before. Don't see them for the moment where they're all glorious. Mm -hmm. Because when you're struggling, you know, the tendency is you know what, they've done too well, they won't have time for me. That's not true mm -hmm. because authentic people would want to share their journey with you to help you to prepare yourself to your highest level. Mm -hmm. So reach out, it doesn't matter who you are. That's one thing I do. If I see something that resonates with me, I will reach out and collaborate because there's power there. And my message goes across. The more people I collaborate with, the more impact I make, um, I make. So yes, I think that's the way. Reach out, collaborate, there's, there, there's power in numbers. Yes, that is really powerful. And I think the power for asking for help, because the moment you ask for help, you open a door for growth. 
Absolutely. The moment you, uh, you open, say, I uh, help me, you get 10 answers that will help you to go to the direction that you want. So don't forget to look for help and connect with the right people. Connect with the people who can take you to the next level. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for, for sharing that. So Jennifer, you've empowered a lot of women. You've worked with a lot of women. And at this moment, because we're going end, we're almost ending, what advice would you want to share with a woman right now who's maybe listening, who wants to... to to change her life, who feels like everything is not working. A woman who wants to transit, I feel some women want to change. As you said, they are working women, but they feel like, okay, it's time for me to just become my own boss, my own, um, I've had experience and I want to open something, but they're still in fear of starting. They're still um, finding themselves not believing enough in themselves. What advice do you have for a woman who just wants to create change in their life? I, I think what I'll say is stop, and process things because if it's all uh, sort of muddled up, you keep making uh, one bad choice after the other. Stop and take stock. Have a clear vision of where you are, where you want to be, what do you need to get to where you want to be. There is no need to fall stuck. We've all been there, but don't, don't, don't get stuck. Keep moving. I think the biggest problem that um, I'll say the biggest challenge is sometimes people give up. Once you give up on one uh, uh, mission, it's, 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 it becomes a pattern. Mm -hmm. you, you start something else, it becomes hard. You, 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 you put it aside, you start something else. There's people who are serial project setters yes. because the moment it becomes tough, they give up. I would say whatever it is that you've dreamt of, stick with it. it it's not going to be easy. If it's meant for you, it will work. But you have to stick it through, no matter how many challenges you, 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 you encounter. And reach out as well. And also remember, you are enough. Don't try to be somebody else. Sometimes it's not working because you're doing something that doesn't uh, work with what you are capable of. What am I capable of? What can I bring? on the table from, you know, from within myself. That's authentically me. So think things are through. Don't rush. Rushing does not uh, actually mean you get there sooner. It, it, it can sometimes just make the, uh, the, the process even uh, more prolonged because mm -hmm. it's not planned. So take your time, reach out to other sisters, but be authentic, be you. There's only one you. So show us the real you. Who are you? Thank you so much. That is really powerful. I hope there's a woman who's listening out there. And I think being authentic is the most powerful thing that you can be. Be yourself. And it's it takes one step for you to just create that change. So take that step and do what you 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 know you're good at i think jennifer said this a lot that everybody has a gift so that gift that you have and be yourself and show the world who you are because there's only one you as she said nobody else can be in your shoe no matter what society says no matter what people think of you you are the only one who's in that shoe and you know the power that you have within you so thank you so much jennifer so jennifer if i would ask you to describe yourself in one sentence what will that be I would say I'm, I'm a girl with a vision and I've grown up to be a woman who has tapped into that dream and become a woman with power. Thank you so much. That's powerful. Leave your vision. A woman with a vision and she lived to her vision and she's here today. So if you think your vision is not possible, Jennifer is here just to show you that it is possible. You just have to walk through that process to make your dream be true. So I want to thank you so much, Jennifer, for being here. But before we go, uh, maybe someone wants to reach you. And I know wh why I bring and ask people to come here is that always there's room for people to support you or help you to, to guide you. Because everybody who comes here has gone through a journey and they have a one way or another they can support you. So if somebody wants to reach you for maybe a question or anything that you've said that has touched them and they want to reach you, how can people reach you? I would say I'm, 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 I'm available on Facebook, Jennifer Ngulube. Uh, I'm, I'm available on Instagram. Inbox me, I, I respond. It, it, it doesn't have 
to be a big request. I, I, I respond to any message that comes across Facebook, Instagram, reach out, Jennifer Ngolube, that's me. Okay, thank you so much, Jennifer. And before we go, one more question that I'll just ask you. What does confidence mean to you? Uh, to me, confidence is believing in yourself and knowing that you are enough with your faults, with all your mistakes and embracing your imperfections. Thank you so much. So there we are. Confidence is just embracing in your imperfection. And I think that's very powerful when you embrace yourself. Feel, I think if there's one word that Jennifer has used today, and I think it resonates with me a lot, is just know you are enough. Just know that you are enough no matter what is happening in your life right now, no matter what is challenging you right now, or no matter what decisions you want to make. Understanding that you're enough gives you the power to understand that you have the capability of doing something different and taking the risk and becoming something, someone better. So thank you, Jennifer, so much for taking your time. I really uh, admire and, and, and um, uh, appreciate the, what you do and the empowerment that you do. And I wanna thank you. I know you're a busy person, but you made time and you came to our program today. I wanna to thank you so much for being here today. And anyone who's listening, know that the top talk to connect is here to inspire, to empower. If you have a story you wanna share that was gonna empower another person, you're most, you're most mostly welcome. Uh, this platform is just to make you know that you can think beyond the possible and you can be the person that you wanna be in life as long as you walk through that journey. And as Jennifer said, know your own story and tell it as powerfully as you can authentically so that you can become yourself. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for being here today. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye. Bye.